Hi there! In today's video I'm still going to talk about phrasal verbs. I brought you some new ones with get, get out and get out of, get away and get away with, get rid of, get by and get through. As I mentioned in my previous videos, the best way to learn phrasal verbs is through context. So let's have a look at this short dialogue. Oh no, did you hurt yourself? No, it's just my phone, it's broken. When I saw the cyclist coming, I got out of the way, but then that other guy just ran into me. Do you think I can get away with just fixing the screen? Mm, I don't think so. I think you need to get rid of it. It's okay though, you wanted a new phone anyway, didn't you? Yeah, but not now, when I have to get by on £10 a day. This part-time job doesn't yeah. pay much. I'm sorry. But don't worry, you'll get through this. Do you wanna get out of here? To the countryside maybe this weekend? Just to relax a bit. Yeah, that's a good idea. It would be nice to get away, actually. Let's start with get out of. Get out of something. When I saw the cyclist coming, I got out of the way. So get out of the way means to move from a place. To move from A to B in order to avoid an accident. You can also say get out of my way. Get out of my way. This can mean two things. Get out of my way, uh, physically, so move, I'm coming, uh, don't block my way, don't stand in front of me. The other meaning is don't make things more difficult, don't try to interfere. I know how you feel about Sarah, but I want to be her friend. So get out of my way. If I can get out of going to the meeting tonight, I will. This means that if I can manage not to go to the meeting, I won't. Or she got out of the washing up by saying she had homework to finish. She got out of the washing up. So get out of something also means to avoid something we don't want to do. So we don't want to go to the meeting. We don't want to do the washing, washing up. We can also get out of a habit. I need to get out of the habit of waking up so late on Sunday mornings. Getting out of a habit means that you stop doing something that you do every day or you do regularly. The next one is get out. Do you want to get out this weekend? Get out means to go out to different places, to enjoy yourself, to socialize. It's also the opposite of get in. Uh, so if you can get in somewhere, you can also get out. I'll get out when you stop at the traffic lights. I'll get out when you stop at the traffic lights. Word got out about the wedding, even though they wanted to keep it a secret. Word got out about the wedding. So if news get out, it means people get to know about it. People um, hear about it before they are supposed to hear about it. So basically, they heard about this wedding before they should have heard about it. Get away with. Do you think I can get away with just fixing the screen? 
Do you think it will be enough? Do you think I can avoid uh, changing the phone? I think we can get away with just gluing the wood together rather than nailing it in place. So I think it will be enough. Let's just glue it together. It will hold. So get away with means to do something successfully, even though it's not the best way to do it. So it's okay to change the screen of the phone, but it's not the best solution. So there might be more damage on the back of the phone or maybe uh, a damaged battery or something we don't know about. So changing the screen will fix the problem for a while. Maybe the phone will actually work for a while, but it's just a temporary solution. It's not the best thing to do. The best would be to, to throw it away and get a new one. Um, it's okay to glue the wood together. This glue is strong enough to hold it together, but we don't know how long for. So it's a good solution. Uh, it will do the job, uh, but we don't know how long for. Stop this bad behavior. You can't get away with it anymore. You can't get away with it anymore. So from now on, your actions will have consequences. Uh, if you do something bad, you get punishment. To get away with something means that you don't get punishment or your actions don't have consequences. But if you say you can't get away with it, that means that your actions will have consequences, some sort of punishment. So get away with actually means that um, avoid a punishment for something. get away it would be nice to get away actually get away means to leave somewhere uh, to a nice place to relax i need to get away for a few days work has been really stressful so i need to leave i need to go somewhere else uh, for a few days it also means to leave or escape from a place or a person. We walk to the next station uh, to get away from the crowd. We walk to the next station to get away from the crowd. So probably the train station or bus station was very busy. There were a lot of people there and we don't like crowd. So we just walk to the next station to, to get away from it. Get away can also be used as a noun, but in this case it's only one word, get away, and it means a holiday. A short getaway is a short holiday. The next one is uh, get rid of. I think you need to get rid of it. So changing the screen won't be enough. I think the best is to throw this phone away and buy a new one. I want to get rid of all these boxes. They've been lying around for ages. So I want to throw away all I want to throw away all these boxes here. I don't need them anymore. So get rid of something means to, to throw something away or to eliminate something. You can also get rid of people. I can't believe I can't get rid of him. I can't believe I can't get rid of him. He is still texting me, still calling me, still uh, wants to meet up. So getting rid of people means that you don't want to talk to them anymore or you don't want to meet them anymore. Get by. I have to get by on 10 pounds a day. I have to live 
on 10 pounds a day. That's all the money I have. This has to cover all my needs for a day. To, to get by on some sort of money is to live on uh, that amount of money. So it's to live or exist or just manage to, to succeed on uh, that amount of money. When we were kids, we got by on very little. So when we were kids, we didn't need a lot of money. We only spent a little every day. So here, get by means to live, manage to live, exist um, in a situation uh, where there is a lack of money. It also means to manage to deal with the situation having just enough of something. I'm not fluent in English, but I know enough to get by. So my English is not perfect. I don't know a lot, but I know enough to get by. So I know enough to succeed. I know enough to uh, talk to people. I know enough to um, ask uh, basic questions from people. So that's just enough to get by. And the last one for today is get through. Don't worry, you'll get through this. You will find a better job. Uh, you'll have a better salary. Everything is going to change. Everything is going to be better. Uh, so don't worry, you'll uh, overcome this. You'll um, manage to get out of this situation. It also means to finish something. I can get through much more when I'm on my own. I can get through much more, I can finish much more when I'm on my own. We've got a lot to get through today. We've got a lot to get through today. We've got a lot to finish today. If we connect to someone on the phone, we get through. I couldn't get through. The line was engaged. I couldn't get through. So I couldn't talk to the person I wanted to because no one picked up the phone. The line was engaged. We couldn't get through. I couldn't talk to the person. It also means to use up something. So imagine a situation. Um, you've been to the shop twice already this week. Uh, you've bought um, three liters or three bottles of uh, milk. It's only Wednesday today, but there's no milk left. And you just start wondering, how do we get through so much milk? Like, how do we drink? How do we use up so much milk? I hope this video was useful. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.